Barb. Sorry it's been so long since I've written. Things have been hectic around here, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get things back on track. I don't really want to get into it, but we're getting pulled in a lot of different directions right now. Nothing hurtful, just competing priorities, I guess. Although those can get worse and worse over time. I mean, Dan and I, before we got up here, you know we'd started to drift. Look at that. I said I didn't want to get into it, and I did anyway. Enough about me. Please tell me you're doing well, and I hope this doesn't stress you out too much. I promise to write a happier letter soon. Yours always, Linda. It'll be fun. Gotta spend more time there. Sorry, I shouldn't have snapped. I just... It's not that I don't like having fun, it's just there's a rhythm to writing, a routine, muscle memory. Trying to keep notes in a notebook isn't the same as sitting down to a blank page and feeling the silence, knowing that you've got to make that typewriter make some noise. There's certainly something to be said for getting away from your work for a bit, but there's no getting away from the book this late in the game, only a feeling that you're not working as hard as you should be. There's a busted mailbox on Bypass 66 to prove it. Again? We've just been so busy. We've been back from camping for three days, and I'm still buzzing. Before we left, I did some research and found two great hikes, and I put together enough food for us to cook every meal with a real fire instead of having to worry about hiking back to the car or going into Primeville for supplies. It was just what I needed. Sleeping under the stars, swimming in the lake, exploring new trails, even drinking a few beers by the campfire. Not a soul around but us. Are you kidding me? Dan and I had a good conversation today. 
Well, we'll have to wait and see if it was actually good, but I feel like I got my point across about family time. We've been getting a little frayed on the little things lately, and it reminded me of something Anne said one time. Love is a behavior, not an emotion. If something's important to you, you show it with your actions. We weren't doing so well with that before we got here. I told Dan my idea. I want us all to eat together at 7 every night, with family time after that. Tommy's wiped out by 8.30, so we'd get a solid hour and a half as a family, and then Dan and I could have the rest of the night to ourselves. And I think seven's a reasonable request. The rest of the working world knocks off at five, right? It doesn't really matter what we do with the time, just that we spend it together. It's easy to make excuses when you've got a lot going on, which is why patterns help. I hope he feels the same way. Yeah, I gotta check on that thing. Honey, listen to me. You are smart. Will it make me smarter? How's it going? It's good.
Barb, by the time you get this, we'll be on our way home, so don't write me back here. It's hard to believe this summer's almost over. So much has happened. The show, getting used to life up here, painting more than I have in years, losing Grandma Jo, figuring out where Dan and I are. Part of me doesn't want to leave, but I know it's time. They say you can't go home again. I think I know what that means now. I don't have it in me to explain everything here, but things will never be the same. I don't even know what home I'm going back to. The only thing I do know is that I'm ready to start painting again. For real, like I did before Tommy. I'm scared and excited and nervous all at the same time. I just wish I knew how we were going to make it work. I hope this finds you well. Your
You'd make new ones, buddy. What about my friends? such a big decision. I could even go full time if... You can say it. If I got a real job. I could even go full time if... I guess family time every night was too much to ask for. That worries me, though Dan did agree to be at dinner every night, so he's at least trying. It's just, we came here to start fresh and set things right. We were on such a bad course before. And if we can't make time to do it right while we're here, how will we be able to do it when we get back home? There'll be so much going on when we get back. Are we doing enough here? It's impossible to get into a rhythm right now. This place was supposed to create some peace and quiet, but I almost never get two unbroken writing blocks in the same day. I know I'll never get exactly the schedule I want, that's just a fact of life. But that doesn't make it easier to get good work done with everything else going on. Just gotta figure out a way to push through. No other choice, really. This book isn't going to write itself. This could be it. An associate professorship at Hardesty? It's entry level, sure, but everyone has to start somewhere, and it's the perfect situation for writing. The sabbatical program alone makes the job worth it, and the thought of actually working with Professor May? Wait, I guess I'd be calling him Philip now. That'll take some getting used to. But moving's a big step. I can't imagine a new school with new kids would be easy for Tommy. I know staying in Laurenton would be better for him and Linda, but they aren't handing out professorships on the corner. This isn't the kind of offer you pass up without a very good reason. But I might have two good reasons. Tried to sleep on it last night. What a joke. You have to be able to sleep for that to work. I just talked things over with Dan, and we really have some serious thinking to do. The job at Hardesty sounds like a great opportunity for him, but moving would be so hard on us. I really want to join Art for All, and after everything we've been through with Tommy, it would be better for him to have some stability. I could even go full time if Dan found a steady job, though I know he can't do that if he takes on extra tutoring with Tommy, and I'd never fault him for that. If we stay in Laurenton and Dan works with Tommy, I could still do the program part-time. Either way, it'd be better for Tommy and me than moving. But I know that professorship would mean so much to Dan. Can't everything be simple just once?
Again. This house is old. days when I thought this moment would never come. When I finish writing this, I'm going to pack everything up and drop the manuscript in the mail. My palms are sweating just thinking about letting it go. I had no idea how hard it would be to finish this one. It took everything I had, and it's hard to look back over the summer without laughing. To think the plan was to get away from everything and just focus on the book. But you can't get away from yourself. Life doesn't give a damn about geography. I don't know when you'll get this or where we'll be when you do, or what you'll think. I know what I think, but objectivity left the building months ago. Some days I think this is the one. Other days I have a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach that says my career is over. All I can do is drop this in the mail and hope. Here goes. Can't beat me.
Thank you.